In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the uh, configuration on your uh, uBlocks GPS. Now, uh, normally you, you don't need to do this. Um, the APM um, automatically configures the, the GPS uh, when, it, when it first connects to the GPS on, on each startup. Um, but still, you know, it, it might be useful sometime for some weird reason to, to update the configuration to the latest. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, um, historically, the, the only way to do that was to uh, buy one of these um, FTDI cables and then also buy one of these little uh, converter cables. And on the older style GPS, plug this little white connector into the side of the GPS like this, and then you would connect this other end to your PC, uh, and then you could use U-Center to, to talk directly to the, to the GPS. Now, um, unfortunately, this little connector uh, does not fit into the uh, latest uh, uh GPS from 3DR. This will no longer fit anymore, so we needed another method to be able to do it. So uh, the way that it's going to work now is um, we'll use the APM uh, 2 or 2.5 in this case uh, to act as a pass-through. So uh, U-Center will be running on your computer. It'll uh, talk to the GPS through the APM 2. You can find this uh, pass-through firmware uh, by going to the uh, wiki and then going to download advanced user tools and just scroll down and you'll find one called the uh, APM2 uBlocks Pass-Through 1.0. So just click on that, go down and then click on the download button and it'll ask you to save it. I'm using Windows 8 so it appears here so now I will now uh, just grab this little binary, drag it into a folder, and there we are. Well, I'm here, I'm also going to download the latest uBlox configuration file. So click here, Let's scroll down, click the download button, save the file. It's appearing here as well. So I'll just drag and drop that into the same folder. So I will go to the Mission Planner, and on the Initial Setup Install Firmware screen, I'll click on the Load Custom Firmware, uh, and then I'm just going to click on that hex that I just downloaded. It's uploaded the firmware now, so I can I should be able to connect through UCenter. So now, if you're not familiar with UCenter, you can find it right here on the uBlocks web page. You can download it from right here and install it on your Windows machine. I don't think it works on anything else but Windows. You can connect by selecting the COM port and then also setting the baud rate to 38400. Then you should start seeing these little numbers over here update. Now to upgrade the configuration to the latest, select Tools, GPS Configuration then go to that folder where you downloaded the, uh, the two files uh, and select 3DR uBlocks TXT then click on the file to GPS uh, after first making sure that this little checkbox is checked so that it's going to store it into, into flash memory then push file to GPS you can see that it's successfully updating all of the configuration So uh, it has now updated all the configuration. I can disconnect, uh, go back here, and reinstall you know, whichever version of RGCopter, RGPlan I want, and um, it should all work fine.